Monaten. There is only one thing I ask of a boat, that it isn't as a home would be. I want to feel in another environment when I'm out in the sea, and I want to experience it my own way. All boats can navigate slowly, but only very few of them can go fast. Pershing has always been fast on water. It has been this way since the very beginning of this brand. That's why I expect a lot from this new Pershing 6X. Changing while preserving its image is a must for Pershing. You can recognize one immediately. You distinguish it from everyone, even if it's not moving. It is six centimeters short to reach 19 meters and is 4.8 meters wide. Fulvio Di Simone designed it, but we know that it was, as always, a team effort with the resources of the Ferretti Group. By carefully observing the profile, we can imagine its character. The design of the deckhouse windows unleashes the adrenaline. On the other hand, the windows below the deck line make us imagine a large and relaxing environment. The line that cuts through the windows is a handrail. The fairing is in carbon, so to save weight where possible. If you are sailing in calm waters and the captain has promised you not to go full throttle, then you can enjoy the extraordinary thrill of lying in the bow on the mattress or on these two chaise longes, which are adjustable. I'm sure this will be the most sought out place. All outdoor areas can be protected by awnings. The stern sun deck is embellished with a spoiler that recalls the sportiness of supercars yet protects you. The surface of the mattress can be extended by moving the backrest of the sofa. The hydraulic swimming platform helps the Williams Turbojet 325 tender slide into the water. The cockpit has conquered more space because of the desire to live more and more outdoors, which is why we find an area to relax and have lunch. There is room for six people. This coffee table is a masterpiece. Soft touch teak, built entirely in carbon, movable, openable, and without hinge. Basically, a miracle. As for the bar, I would equip it with everything they offer. Grill, fridge, sink, and ice maker. Under one of the seats, there is the cabin for the sailor. Even the living room is en plein air environment because the French door disappears completely. The roof opens and the windows on the sides are very long. As outside, here you can have lunch with six. You just have to raise and expand the table. On the opposite side, a unit with the TV. The sofa is upholstered with an alternation of leathers of different colors and finishes. Leading us below deck is the handrail with a particular design. Here below, in addition to the kitchen, we find three other rooms, a living room and two cabins, or as in this case, three cabins. The kitchen receives light from above and from the opening porthole on the side. The owner's suite is characterized by a window which has a rectangular opening porthole next to it. Here you really feel on board a boat. There is another element that catches the eye, the bed headboard that is an alternation of wallpaper panels applied to a metal structure. The cushions are made of leather. If desired, it is possible to install a gyroscope stabilizer to increase comfort while stopping at anchor. The bathroom extends on one side and is separated by two sliding doors 
and then divided into three different rooms. The VIP cabin makes the most of the geometry of the hull, with the bed tilted compared to the longitudinal axis. Even here, the style is dictated by the contrast between materials and shades. Lots of surrounding furniture, including the closet. Of course, the bathroom is en suite. The cabin is a double with the bathroom, which also serves as a day toilet. These driving seats have been named by Poltrona Frau, Interior in Motion. I totally agree with this name because as the commander of the Pershing 6X, you can really feel it moving and somehow in action, even when you're still. This Pershing steering wheel is also in carbon with leather inserts. The dashboard and the lid are both as well in carbon. There are two 19-inch displays from which we control navigation, engines and most of the onboard systems. Pershing has put together the best technologies of Top System, Onyx, Zenta and Simrad to be able to have a technologically advanced boat. We have surface propulsions, more specifically, Top System Surface Drive Model TS-75S, but we also have the Zenta joystick with the easy handling function that allows us to maneuver delicately in confined spaces. Plus, the dynamic positioning system keeps the boat still in a certain position and direction, counteracting the action of external forces. To start navigating in the simplest way, we use Easy Set, that is the top system automatic propulsion control that adjusts the position of the propulsion according to the boat's load conditions and engine revolutions by intervening on trims and trim tabs in order to achieve the best performance of the boat in navigation. The system brought flaps and surface propulsions to the lowest possible position to get on the plane at a speed of around 15 knots. However, now that we're at 25 knots, the flaps are still a bit low. The propulsions are already in line with the boat's course on the surface. The manoeuvrability of this boat at these cruising speeds is astonishing. Very narrow veer, notable skid angle, but extreme safety and precision in every take of action. One thousand seven hundred RPM, twenty-five knots, a fuel consumption of fifteen liters per mile. This model is equipped with two MAN V12s with 1,550 horsepower each. You can't go slow on a boat like this. Sempre 2100 giri minuto, le eliche però hanno ridotto il loro regresso, siamo a 40. 2100 RPM, 42 knots of speed. This is the cruising pace of the Pershing 6X. Actually, we are still 2100 RPM, but the propellers have reduced their regression. We're at 44 knots of cruising speed. They have fitted a development on the surface propulsion easy set control system, meaning you can tell your Pershing boat, OK, you drive so I can relax and enjoy this magical moment. Or you can choose to switch off the system and drive yourself because you want to have fun driving it. Wow! 
Look at the skid, it's impressive. Impressionante. Yet it's not hard for me to keep this direction. Absolute precision, it's amazing. <laughs> Propulsion flush with the surface, the propellers work with half the blade submerged and the other half out. Flaps are absolutely non-existent at the moment. They're completely raised and so at full throttle. These are ideal conditions for navigating, but this boat is able to navigate well even if there are rough waters. Maximum speed 48 knots, although we are going a bit over that speed. There must be a reason why, after having tried more than a thousand boats, every time I'm at the helm of a Pershing, I still get very excited.